Hi, I'm Jilly G. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you my vanilla bean ice cream. For me, it will be a two day process, but for you, just one. If you have a countertop ice cream maker like I do, I'll put a link for that below. And it's, it's just a little machine, but it has a, a canister that you need to freeze. And so I usually make room in my freezer and put that in first. And then it has a good 24 hours or longer to freeze. And you could put it in whenever you want. But I put mine in this morning. And then I'm going to show you, it's kind of a custardy filling. So it could almost be a frozen custard rather than an ice cream. But we cook it first and then it also needs to chill overnight. You could do that fairly early in the morning, but you really want it to be cold before you put it in your ice cream machine. And I'm not sure about the old fashioned crank machines. I'm not sure what those requirements are. I don't have one of those. So make this according to your ice cream machine. And really not very many ingredients at all. I've got one and a half cups of heavy cream. I've got some vanilla bean paste here. If you have the whole vanilla bean, you could put that in, in your saucepan over here. Or if you don't have the vanilla bean paste, you can just use regular vanilla extract. It all works the same. And then I've got six eggs. And then I've got a three quarters of a cup of honey and one and a half cups of half and half, which is half milk and half heavy cream. And that's it. If you're using sugar, it would be one cup of sugar. And it might turn a little bit darker in color depending on the color of your egg yolks and also the honey makes it a little bit darker too, but I don't care. And I know it's only January, but I like ice cream better in the winter when it's colder. In the summer, I feel like it just makes me more thirsty. I don't know about you, but ice cream is good any time of year really, but I like it better in the colder, in the colder months. So first thing I'm gonna do is pour my half and half into a saucepan and my three quarters of a cup of honey. I've done this before with maple syrup. It's really good too. Although maple syrup does change the texture a little bit more because maple syrup's a little bit runnier. And I'm gonna turn this on low heat and just stir it around just a little bit with a whisk. It's okay if it's not all the way mixed in yet. In the same glass that my half and half was in, I'm just gonna start cracking my eggs and put my egg yolks in there. But first I need something, I need another dish. I saved my egg whites and you could use those in a different recipe or scramble it up like an omelet, whatever you want. And if you have an egg that breaks, set that aside and just keep going. You can make an omelet with your egg whites and your broken egg. I'm gonna turn my heat up to about medium. Give your honey and half and half mixture a good stir. So to my six egg yolks in the same container that I had the half and half in and with my whisk attachment, you could just use a regular whisk, but this is faster. I'm going to beat these until they're a little bit thick. I don't know if you can see, this makes such fast work of that. You could do it with a whisk, but you'd be standing here a lot longer. Once our half and half and honey is the right temperature, which we want it to be almost to a simmer, not quite, but just starting to, to simmer a little bit. And then we're gonna temper the egg yolks. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of that into here while stirring and whisking, and then pour the whole thing back into the pan. And I, I do that right over here, but I like to have everything ready 
And this is mostly so my glass doesn't slide around so much. And you can see how tan my half and half and honey is. Once we add it to the rest of the heavy cream, it will lighten up a little bit. But the egg yolks will also make it a little bit darker too. And another way to tell if your, if your mixture is ready is just a spoon and you see if it coats the back of a spoon. And mine is. And I can hear that it's almost coming up to a simmer. And all of my honey is dissolved. If this was regular sugar, you'd want to make sure the sugar was dissolved. While whisking, I'm going to slowly pour in about half of my milk and honey mixture here. And again, while whisking, slowly pour this back in to the saucepan. Stir this constantly. We want it to get a little bit thicker, but you don't want to curdle your egg yolks either. And it's on about medium low heat. I don't know if you can see or not. It is thicker. And it's just barely starting to simmer. So once it starts to simmer, just barely, you'll see little bubbles around the edges. And this isn't pudding, and so it's not going to get really super thick, but quite a bit thicker than when it started. Bring all of my things over. And I'm just going to pour this into my heavy cream. That will help cool it off and then we'll stir in our vanilla. My one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. I'm just going to stir it with my measuring spoon to get it all off of there, hopefully. And just give this a really good stir, mix all that vanilla bean paste in, mix the custard into the heavy cream. What I like about this vanilla bean paste is it's got all the little vanilla beans in there. So you get all the little flecks. If you get eggs from somewhere besides the grocery store, for example, my mom, I get eggs from her. She has chickens. But all of those, those egg yolks are darker than the store-bought eggs. And that also changes the color a little bit too. And again, if you had used white sugar, it would be paler in color. So once that's all mixed together, Clean up our stuff here. Once you've got this all mixed together, wrap it in plastic wrap. It's pretty warm still, even with that heavy cream that was in there. Let that come down to room temperature and then I'll stick it in the fridge overnight and tomorrow we'll make ice cream. Here we are tomorrow and here's my frozen canister. It's very cold. And this is my this is my countertop ice cream maker. It's very simple to operate. You just put your frozen canister in here and then here is the paddle attachment. And you just put that in there. Snap it on. Plug it in and we're ready to go. Make sure the lid's on. And it's it's really simple. It's one button. And it's kind of loud. And here's my custard that has been cooling all night. And what I do is I just turn this on and then pour in my custard and just let it go. You'll know it's ready when the paddle starts having trouble turning around. And it will kind of jerk back and forth a little bit and then your custard will be done and then I'll put it into a separate container and put it in the freezer. You could eat it when it's fresh out of here, but it's kind of soft serve and it melts really quickly. 
And so if you freeze it in a container, it will firm up and then you can scoop it into a, a scoop. And I'm not doing any mix-ins today. I'm just going to do the vanilla ice cream. But you could, you could add in whatever you want. So I'm just going to turn this on and start pouring it in. It's getting really thick and it's starting to kind of rub the, the bottom of the lid. So it's thick enough for me. And I just have a glass container here. You can put it in whatever kind of container that you want. I like something like this that's easy to scoop out of, but a regular bowl would work as well. And then I just scrape off this paddle here. It's the color of a uh, French vanilla ice cream, if you ever got that in the store, where it's kind of a yellow color. And that took about, oh, about 40 minutes in my little machine here. And then I'm just gonna pour it into my dish here. And even though it looks pretty thick, it actually kind of melts pretty quickly. So I'm going to put this in the freezer and let it firm up and then we can scoop it out. My ice cream has been chilling for about a day and a half. But it looks really good. And it's not super firm. It's firm enough to hold a, a scoop, but it's still pretty soft. <laughs> I'm trying to find my spoon. And you'll notice it's more of a golden yellow color than white. But you can see the little vanilla bean flecks in there too. Perfect vanilla ice cream. It's almost like a frozen custard, really. But it's really good. You can put whatever you want on top of here. You could put hot fudge or caramel, a fruit syrup, or some little chocolate sandwich cookies that I made the other day. During the churning process, when you're making your ice cream, you could do any kind of mix-ins that you want. Chocolate sandwich cookies would be a cookies and cream version. Fruit is really good to mix in fruit. Possibilities are endless. And you can see that my ice cream it is starting to melt pretty quickly, but it's still holding its shape. So it's not quite a soft serve and not quite a rock hard ice cream, but really good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one.